Good morning, Quite Copter 101 here. Before we get started, let's get the shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Ron Messer. Ron was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus was the shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here, and I have a neat new airplane for review today. This is the new XK800, A800. What is the XK800? As you can see, it is a very streamlined glider. Um, very streamlined. Okay, this is this should fly very well, especially if you'd like you're into soaring. This would be perfect for you. Now, this is being touted as a beginner's airplane. Yeah, well, I have a couple issues on that. <laughs> Calling this a beginner's, although it is very easy to fly. It does have 6G, and you can switch between 6G mode where it's fully stabilized. It has um, gyros and accelerometers in here to fully stabilize the airplane to make it easy to fly. Um, the thing is, though, it is a well, it's four-channel aircraft, although it's actually six-channel because it has rates, and you also can adjust it between 6G and 3D mode. But the main thing I'm saying, it's a four-channel airplane. you got throttle control, you have aileron control, uh, you have uh, elevator control, and you have rudder control. So, you know, it's a classic four-channel style. Um, fully stabilized. Very windy today, by the way. Up We're going to see how well this flies in the wind. <laughs> but the thing about it is this propeller being up front here makes it very susceptible to damage you know if you go in nose in uh, pow with power you're probably going to break this propeller and I've already broken one <laughs> just to let you know so I would not recommend this for total beginner pilots I would recommend you start with like a two channel three channel and as you progress as you feel ready to go to four channel with ailerons then consider this so as an intermediate step above those beginner airplanes now what do you get with this um, you get, uh, as I mentioned, it is, let's open up the top and I'll show you inside here. What you get is, you get a flight control board in there with uh, gyros and accelerometers to automatically stabilize, it, stabilize this airplane in flight if you so wish. That particularly comes into play on gusty, windy days like today where I'm going to fly it. We're going to see how well it flies in the wind. Um, it is powered by this 7.4 volt battery, 2S battery, 300 milliamp hour. This is the same battery that's used on the other XK airplanes and WL Toys airplanes, including the F959, the A600, and um, I know I'm missing one, A600, F959, or the other two that I can name right now off the top of my head. There's one more that I'm forgetting about right now, but they all use the same battery, so what I would try, like them make sure you know or understand is you can can easily get replacement batteries for this it has white low C connector um, and there's already a lot of airplanes out there that use this and so you should be able to easily find replacement batteries to keep you up in the air and flying um, I forgot to mention I had my Sky King also in the in the car I wanted to compare the two to, sh to show you they are about the same size well the wings on the XK are a little bit longer Okay, I guess those are 800 millimeters, and this one's about 700 millimeters from wingtip to wingtip. Let's go over the controller. This is the controller you get with it. It's your standard XK controller. This left button here is for adjusting rates from beginner to, to intermediate. There's only two. You know, that will give you greater deflection on your control surfaces, so you'll get better reaction if you want to do tricks and rolls. That's when you go to high rate. And also... This button on the right here selects between 6G mode, where you have the um, uh, accelerometers and gyros operating, and if you want to turn them off to do loops and rolls, you press it one time and you can do such. And you have trim buttons for yaw, for throttle, for pitch, and for roll, and an on-off switch here. That's about it. Okay, what I am going to do is I am going to plug in that battery, so turn on this transmitter, that wind is blowing good now. We're going to see how well this thing flies in the wind. So, let's plug in the battery. Like so. I'm having a hard time, folks, because my eyesight is really not the best at close up. There, <laughs> battery is plugged in. Okay, notice the way I have it in, inserted in here, folks. Um, actually, let's, I haven't shown you the bat or the motor yet. It is a brushed motor, but easily accessible, so you can change this relatively easily. But um, the battery goes in this slot in the back here. Don't turn it sideways, or else you won't be able to close the door. And you can push those wires backward like so. And this top has two clips. 
that clip into these two clips right here to close up the door. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Okay, next we turn on the transmitter. We actually, put the, the plane on the ground, leave it undisturbed while we turn on the transmitter. And once you hear that beep, the gyros have been calibrated and we should be good to go. Check and control surfaces, always do that. Turning left, so that should turn left. The right one goes down when you turn left. Turning right, the left one goes down when you turn right. Elevator up, elevator down, rudder left. Actually, that rudder looks like it could use a little bit of a adjustment to the left. And I've done that. Okay, so we should be good to go. Now we are in 6G mode, how do I know that? See that blue light, steady light? That means we're in 6G mode with the accelerometer, accelerometers turned on. Press it once and you see a flashing light and that puts us in 3D mode so we can do tricks. So back to 6G for the takeoff. Man, let's try this. <coughs> the wind's coming directly down this road. So, giving us throttle. Oh, nicely. Nice takeoff. <laughs> Coming downwind. Now I'm turning with the uh, er, ailerons. And now it's climbing. You know, when I first got this out of the box, the one thing about it, folks, is its uh, picture, uh, control rods were set up uh, when I, you know, this, here I'm gliding right now chest in the glider. Um, it was pitching nose down and I had to adjust and push out the control rod a bit. And the way you do that is you just twist the connector on it. I'm just gliding this thing. It's gliding very, very, very well. And again, I'm stabilized. So look at how that thing, you know, it's getting buffeted by the wind. And I'm not going to come out of stabilization today, folks, because of the wind. Look at that thing. It's doing a real good job in the wind. Okay, I got a little bit of throttle on it. Hear that wind? Uh, you probably can't hear that wind, but it don't care. <laughs> Here, let's go up. Look at that. I just give it up. Look at the climb. This is actually an amazing airplane. Let's turn it with a rudder now. Ooh, it does nice smooth turns with a rudder. How about rudder and ailerons? Very quick turns when <laughs> you do it that way. This is a nice plane, folks. But again, I don't re recommend this for beginners. This is for intermediates. Look at it, it barely can go into the wind. Very nice plane. Let's go down wind, turning left, turning left, hard turn. Oh dang, this is nice with those with the accelerometers. But I gotta go up high. And we're and the reason I want to do that is give it, look at that. <laughs> Just climbs right up there. Let's turn off the 3D mode here. Let's see how stable it is. Letting go, will it balance itself? No. <laughs> okay, so go back to 6G. <laughs> Again, it's not like the other trainers I've demonstrated on this channel. This thing uh, doesn't um, fully stabilize itself when you turn off, when you let go of the stick. Although it glides very well. I recommend staying in 6G mode. <laughs> But let's go up high. I want to do at least one loop. We'll go up high to let us do that. Going up a little bit higher. And 3D, full power. And the looping. Let go of the stick. Okay, I have to come back to 6G. <laughs> so I let go of the stick and it was heading to the ground, folks. It was not stabilizing itself. So again, this is an intermediate's plane, not a beginner's. Although, in the 6G mode, it's very easy to fly this thing. Very easy to fly this thing. You know, see all the, the bumping around? That's the wind gusts hitting it. And it just automatically stabilizes itself. Very nice plane. Very quiet, too. This is an excellent soar. This would be excellent on a slope soaring. But again, not for beginners, because you, you will break it. <laughs> okay, um, I wonder if I can get any thermals today. Although we got, nah, I got this, we got this wind, it's not gonna happen. Okay, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go downwind, turn it back upwind, come bring it right back at me directly, 
increase its speed. Increase speed. Speed. And then at the last second, I'm going to pull it up. <laughs> Look at that thing fly. <laughs> Look at that climb straight up. Going up higher. <laughs> I'm just doing jerking it around. <laughs> so, there, that wind was, it was buffeted it there. I went back to 3D or 6G right away to protect it. But this is a nice, nice plane, folks, for intermediates. I think you'll like it. But like I said, one thing I didn't like is <laughs> I banged it up yesterday. Okay, I, I tried to do a flight yesterday with it, and I did break that prop. Fortunately, you get a spare prop, so I recommend buying spare props for this thing. Look at it trying to go into that wind. Get spare props for it, because you're probably going to need them. But, nice fire. Let's go to the right this time. Go to the left. Go to the right. XK was one of the first to come up with these <laughs> um, stabilized toy grade airplanes. St Stabilization has been around for a while, folks. But XK was one of the first to put them in toy planes and make them affordable planes. Like, that was the A600, if you remember that. That's still available, by the way, folks. That thing that went down that wind here. But the, uh, this one, this one's very nice. And again, perfect for people who want to go into slope soaring. Get a cheap, stabilized slope soar. Again, it's a brushed motor, but you should be able to find replacement motors if you're worried about the motor burning out. The original A600 uh, was brushless. <coughs> Excuse me. This is brushed. I'm starting to lose my voice again here, folks. So you're okay. Uh, flight time on this. I'm, my throttle's starting to get a little weak right now. It, it's going to vary whether you're slope soaring or power flying like I'm, I'm doing power flying here. So keep that in mind. I'm going to try one other thing. Let's go back up high again before I shut down for the day. Oh, oh I lost it in the sun there. <laughs> going up high, higher, and future. And roll it. <laughs> Close. Don't try to roll it, folks. <laughs> it doesn't roll very well. <laughs> but I, got, I saved it there by pressing that 3D button, or coming back to 6G. I'm gliding right now. Let's go back up. Now let's glide it. Oh, yeah, it's getting, the motor's getting weak. We're going to call it quits here. Okay, I am going to go downwind and set it up for landing and... We'll call it quits here. Going downwind. Back upwind. Shutting the motor down. Let's see how far I, this will glide. I'm, I'm going with it. <laughs> I'm going with it. And that again was with the stabilization. Very good stabilization on this, by the way. So, um... Let me turn it off real quick, folks, and we'll, we'll discuss it. One thing I want to make sure, point out. When I first flew this yesterday, when I broke that propeller, this pitch horn here um, was not set properly. It was pointed sli slightly downward. And uh, what I had to do, folks, is disconnect it and unscrew it counterclockwise to give it more length so that... Um, it would pitch up better when the stabilization system was turned on and that's what I tested today and it was flying great so again this is the XK 800, 800 from XK um, neat glider four channel glider with aileron control uh, very easy to fly in 3D mode but I don't know if it's easy enough for a beginner to fly <laughs> you might have an intermediate get it up in the air for you once it's up in the air let the beginner take over and leave it in 6G mode uh, 3D mode, you can do loops, you can do rolls. Um, the rolls, be very careful. Uh, you're going to need to take it up high because it comes down fast. <laughs> I 
I almost hit the ground there. <laughs> so, and stuck it into back into uh, 6G mode, and that saved the day. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.